to this session and uh, this semester. We are sorry for the disruption because of the new COVID guidelines or rules. We have to follow them as law-abiding citizens. So welcome. I want to welcome Masi Wanjiku to say something before I start off with the course outline. Masi, say something as the classroom. Yeah. So we think continue, Masi. What about the people who are not playing here? Yeah, see we to to nafanya introduction to Kiwangoja. Now when you are what happens to them? Maybe sometimes they have internet challenges. Okay, uh, have you guys gone home or you are still in school? You are in Matakos? We are at home. You are at home, no? Eh? Yeah, most of us. <clears throat> okay, we are supposed to have these online sessions, eh? Yes. And uh, interactions. Uh, though I've already posted these details in, in your portal, which you can download while you are at home. Yes. So this is just a, a platform for discussion. Eh? Yeah. But those who are not able to access, I believe they'll, they'll find a way of accessing other uh, classes, maybe not 100%, eh? but yeah. uh, a good number of the sessions. Eh? Yes. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll not have uh, discussions throughout. There, there, there are some times I'll give you some work to do yes. and uh, you submit, but we'll be having this session so that we do um, most of the discussions. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll find a way of uh, bringing our friends on board. Mm. Thank you. All right. Branson, greet us. Branson. Branson's network is not okay. Branson? Yes. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Are you in Nairobi or elsewhere? No, I'm not in Nairobi. I'm in uh, Machakos. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Karibu. That's fine. Bulimo, Bulimo, Reynard. Bulimo, are we together? Yes, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay, Karibu, Karibu. I want to confirm if you guys are hearing me. <laughs> Diana, you've joined using your using listen only. You can join using the mic huh? if it's possible. Gerald, the same. Kelvin, Mukaria, again. Oh, uh, Salama. Good. You can hear me, that's okay. Charlo, Charlo, you are on listen only. Those who are not able to be on mic, Kabisa, Kabisa, maybe the device has not accepted the mic option. You can just type. Eh? Okay, Levi, maybe you can rejoin. Eh? Your network is not good from what I can see here. Liai, you can do the same. Mike Ikikata just do this in only, but that should be the worst case scenario. Millicent is on listen only. I hope you can hear me. Osborne? Osborne? Yes. Yeah. How are you? Good. Oh, you can hear me well, eh? Yeah. Okay. Welcome on board. Eh? Samuel Mwangi, I can see you. Thank you. Samuel Mwangi, Samuel, you can uh, try to connect using your mic. Ikikata Kabisandi, you, you use listen only. That should be the worst case. Eh? But you can try the mic. Eh? So, Levi, I hope after reconnecting, you can hear me now. Now, members, please let me begin. Eh? Uh, I, I want to say I'm sorry. I, I ought to have begun this like two or three weeks ago. But because of the supplementaries we had, it took a bit of our time. This is 
uh, Bachelor of Science, Math and Computer Science. Your school is Spasa. And uh, the unit is score 113, that is Foundations of AI. And my name is Omoya Eric. I'll be taking you through this. You already have this. Huh? Now, this is my profile. I'm already on the course outline. Huh? So this is my profile. Those who are joining, just join and, and, and uh, mute. Eh? Just join and mute. Samuel Mwangi, you can mute. Eh? Okay, so that is my profile. The objective of this course is to introduce us to the theory and practical techniques of AI, that is artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence. So theory and practical techniques. We, we are supposed to look at some platforms that uh, we use to implement AI. So theory and practicals. Expected learning outcomes. One is theories and disciplines of AI appreciating the same. Number two, describing engineering issues around the design of AI systems. So what are the issues around AI systems? Number three is appreciating traditional AI language platforms for understanding writing and writing <coughs> codes in AI. Number four, is understanding basic skills on knowledge representation and such. Skills on knowledge representation. And we are going to uh, do introduction to knowledge today. Then the last one is appreciating the role of AI. They are able to reason, they are able to think, they are able to act. They are actually intelligent systems that we use around so where do we apply them and what are the details around ai systems mode of delivery uh, blended learning we are doing online right now uh, last week you did physical classes in person learning um, so we'll just have a whole set of hybrid uh, learning mode materials you can see course assessment i'll give you some positions somewhere along the line now uh i want to go to the topics eh? i want us to cover today is introduction to ai this one will capture intelligence and knowledge, defining AI, and looking at applications, fundamentals, and branches of AI. Topic two is agents, intelligent agents. So what are agents and multi-agents? What are the types? How does an agent behave in its environment? So, and then how do you describe an agent when you're given a, a real life scenario? We have what we call agent description. The third one is knowledge representation. How to represent knowledge so that intelligent systems can use the knowledge to uh, perform certain tasks. So that is called knowledge representation. We have different methods that we use. Some of them you have done, eh? I think you did them, some of them last semester, in critical thinking and uh, mathematical logic. Eh? So some of this will be a bit of repetition for you, and that will help us to move faster. Number four is reasoning systems, where we'll concentrate on forward and backward chaining, case-based reasoning and inference methods. Number five is problem solving in AI, how we solve problems using, so we'll understand the concept of problem solving, 
That means AI can be used as a paradigm of problem solving. We can use AI as a paradigm of problem solving, apart from other options. Then there are two main methods we normally use. One is called blind search, and the other one is heuristics. Heuristics is the same as guided search or informed search. Blind search. Okay. Blind search is also called an informed search. Then heuristic search is called informed search. So we look at that. The next thing is machine learning. We'll understand what machine learning is, types of machine learning, and algorithms that are used. There are different algorithms we use for machine learning. Natural language processing is the next one. What is NLP? We distinguish between NLP and NLU. Then, what are the applications? We have mobile phones that implement NLU, computers, and the rest, other devices. Then we'll wind up by looking at game playing and planning. Game playing and planning as an application of AI. Somewhere along the line, I'll introduce you to the environments that we use, languages that are used for AI systems in terms of development, uh, platforms that are used to implement or to run AI systems. So we'll appreciate those particular details huh, as time goes by. So these are the topics that we will cover. We'll try to move quite faster with the same. What we have down here are just the textbooks and the journals. Eh? Textbooks and journals that we are supposed to use. So I want to give us time to raise any issue. To raise any issue as far as uh, that is concerned. Now, in as much as we'll be doing a hybrid, eh? we'll be doing a hybrid here. That means we do in person, maybe next month, uh, and this situation normalizes, we may go back uh, to the in person learning. The online classes also, I'm actually taking note of uh, who is present here, and these sessions are being recorded. Eh? Charles Mbogo, take a video, please remove the video Charles so so class attendance is important uh, you can advise your friends so that at least you try to attend eh? uh, then of course let work policy there are sessions I'll give you it's important to note that uh, we have assignments and cuts that you do online using the online platform and the assignments will be timed there are some that you'll be required to do within 30 minutes on a particular day. Others you may be given one week. So please you'll make sure you observe keenly the start date and time and the end date and time. So that if you don't submit the work before the end date or end time, then the system will lock you out. Eh? So for the online option it is normally quite challenging. Eh? So please you'll follow what we'll be having in the platform, and then you we'll try to adhere to the same. So thank you very much. That is the outline. That is the outline. Anyone with a question or clarification? Osborne is saying we start with game playing. We can't start with that. <laughs> yeah, because that is uh, one of the applications. We need to understand the concepts first, and then we'll go to the applications huh? that is like you want to climb a tree from the top we start from the bottom is there any question or something to clarify on that maybe i can sample a few bulimo can you still hear me yes i can hear you still okay Anything on the outline? Is it clear from your end? Yeah, it is clear. Okay. Sir, my can... connection. Osborne. M my connection was interrupted uh, some few minutes ago. Okay, uh, but I, I can hear I you did... now. Uh, yeah, 
I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't hear what you said about the the outline. Apo musho musho. Oh, musho oh, musho. The key thing here is a uh, late work policy on uh, submission of uh, assignments and cuts that will be issued. Eh? I said the system automatically. Uh, it would automatically close or or shut you in case you don't submit in time, eh? especially if you are doing it in the system using the online platform. So you you are required to observe the time, yes. especially the end time and the end date. Eh? Is that okay, Osborn? Yeah. All right. That's okay. Yes, Samuel, I'm talking about practicals because there are some uh, platforms we will use. Uh, there are some codes that we will write. Eh? Uh, we can do them. Uh, I'll give you the environments you install. Um, the platform itself you will install and then you I show you what to do with it. Eh? So I, I'll just do a demo here and then you can do it from where you are. We can also finalize with the same when you go back. Eh? So that's okay. I hope there's no more questions. So if you allow me, I can go to the first topic. If you have an issue, just unmute and tell me or you can type. I am monitoring what you are doing on the public chat. If you feel there's something you want to, to do, you can do public, mostly public for the benefit of all of us. So if you allow me, I can go to our first topic and i want to move quite fast if i could cover the first and part of second the better i'll move fast because they are short eh? to cover up for last week so the first topic is introduction to ai introduction to ai so just give me a minute so that i upload it So this is introduction to artificial intelligence. This topic is supposed to help us appreciate initial concepts and definitions mm -hmm. around artificial intelligence as a unit or as as a topic. Okay, so just appreciating the concepts around it. So the first uh, thing here is comparing intelligence and knowledge intelligence and knowledge yeah? okay so i think we bulimo 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 can you hear me yeah, I can hear you. Now, what do you think is the difference between knowledge and intelligence? The difference. Your view. Bulimo, you muted. <laughs> you know, this, this is supposed to be interactive. Huh? Okay, anyway, uh, I think from your previous class, you've come across these four things. The first one is data. The second one is information. Then we're introducing knowledge and intelligence. Eh? Now, data is simply raw facts and figures that can be processed by any system, either manually or automatically. Raw facts and figures, that is data. Information is feedback that we get after data has been processed. The feedback, some people say process data, but it is simply the results that you get after processing has taken place. Now, data or information in a particular domain, which can be used for different purposes, is what we call knowledge. And there are different types, huh? okay? So you'd have information collected in some domain. Domain here would be something like medicine. Okay, that's a domain. Uh, information technology, 
okay that's a domain maybe health sciences that's a domain so you'd have information that is accumulated and is basically meant for that particular area it can be consumed or it can be utilized there that is what we call knowledge and there are different types there's what we call structural knowledge we have meta knowledge meta knowledge and stuff like that huh? so different options huh? sorry charles different options now intelligence is basically the ability to learn and solve problems of course using knowledge that has been accumulated so it is how you use knowledge to learn and solve problems that is what we call intelligence okay so it is it concentrates basically on the way you do it okay you can have knowledge you can have information you can have data but how do you apply it in trying to solve so the manner in which you do it that is what will show us whether there is intelligence in it or not okay so it borders around problem solving rationale okay and we normally compare that to human beings also because of the what we call human intelligence for the human beings but basically it is how we learn and use what we've learned that means knowledge to solve problems okay i think that's okay there are different types of intelligence I want to request that if I uh, mention you to comment, please just do, because this 